started looking in the shallow groundwater, where there was no pressure, where something even alone under no pressure could escape. And that's where they found it. And that's when paper intrusion resurfaced as an issue. It was looked at way back when. But looking at the high numbers, remember, you're not going to go out without this technology and look at the low numbers. You'd scream. What are you doing looking at the lowest number? You want to look at the highest one. Well, the highest one was deep, under pressure, and didn't volatilize at all. So they didn't get the chance to see this technologically or any other way until they started looking in shallow groundwater numbers. And there it was. And there, the gas was also proximate enough to the houses to actually make the intrusion. Not just to volatilize, but to actually intrude into a structure. It's very hard to hold gas at any concentration from 90 feet down, pull it all the way up, and then push it into a foundation. But if you're right under the foundation to start with, and under no pressure, it's a lot more possible to do. And that's my understanding of how the sequence of events occurred and why it became an issue much later than anybody imagined it might have. 